Mad Walter, your little plant people look much better now. Their haircuts were boring. You're just jealous because the crest you've grown doesn't look anywhere near this good. What? Why would we be growing cress? Well, what did you do with those seeds Creature gave you last week? <laughs> what a lovely day. <laughs> oh dear. Well, as this crest growing assignment is homework, due tomorrow, you menaces can all expect attention. Nah, we eat detention like he eats pies. Sometimes I eat pies in detention. Oh, so detention this weekend won't bother you then? <laughs> the weekend of the Beano Town Comic Convention? With a once in a lifetime appearance by the creators of Vampire Chicken Squad? <laughs> bye bye. Huh? Dennis, what are we going to do? Vampire Chicken Squad is my favourite comic. I mean, chickens who are vampires and they have a squad. I mean, it's the best idea ever. Paul was going to get all his issues autographed. We can't miss this convention. We have to talk to someone who knows about growing plants and fast... Who's daddy's little darling then? <laughs> So, cress, you say? Huh, I do have cress seeds, of course, but I usually prefer my flora a little more exotic, like this Venus flytrap here. <laughs> How about I give you seeds for both? The principles are the same. To maximize growth, you need a hothouse, like this. Also, I recommend talking to your plants. The little beauties respond favourably to a good chat. Uh -huh. Last but not least, you'll need some fully organic plant food. Thanks to my secret formula, Gwendolyn here reached this height in only two years. Two years? We need to make the crest grow much, much faster. Time to rev up the Colonel's formula with some extra extreme growth spurt ingredients. Self-raising flour, jumping beans, raspberry rocket, coffee... Ow! What's ow? This pie is too hot to eat. Hmm? And, uh, more raspberry rocket. If this concoction isn't rocket fuel for plant growth, I don't know what is. Right, seeds. Where are the seeds? Ah. Uh-oh, Dennis! The heat from the pie has fused the crest seeds and the Venus flytrap seeds together. Weird. Oh, well, let's plant them anyway. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> has passed its best before date. <laughs> if comics have taught us anything, and comics have taught us most things, a dodgy pie is the perfect ingredient for many up super science. <laughs> to the hot house! Curly, we can't miss that comic convention. Is our homework done? Fingers and green thumbs crossed. We need this weekend to be detention free. Don't forget you promised to mow the lawn tomorrow, Dennis. No, oh, but tomorrow's the Beano Town Comic Convention. Which can wait until you've mown the lawn. <sighs> ah, don't worry, Dennis. Hey, Pyphees and I can help you mow it after school. Ah, is it too late to take that back? Was the grass <laughs> this tall yesterday? I don't know. I was too busy spilling our super plant food everywhere to notice. Ha-ha! <laughs> Results! I have to say, your plant's growth has surpassed all expectations. Clearly they've cheated, miss. Yesterday, they said they didn't even have seeds. I don't remember saying that. Do you? No. no. Oh, it doesn't even look like proper cress. Those leaves have teeth. Ah, that must be...
be the Venus flytrap jeans. This is what perfect Cress looks like. Who's ever seen Cress that big? Don't you know anything, Walter? This is what big Cress looks like. When they're grown up, Cress heads have actual teeth. Oh, fascinating. See, even a teacher can learn something new at school. Now, don't be jealous, Walter. I'm giving all three of these boys the top mark. <laughs> Sorry, Walter. Oh, I know you haven't done this homework, Minis. And the moment I can prove it, that top mark will be mine. And you'll all be on Comic Convention Missing Detention. Walter can't prove a thing. Yes! We dodge detention the one weekend when dodging detention matters. Ah! 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 Dennis! The unusually large and bitey cress. It's got larger and bitier. Ah! Ah! There may still be a bit more dodging to do. I told you it's not cress. You don't see cress this big and eating things. Walter's absolutely right. You, you, you don't see Cress this big and eating things. And that's because uh, this is how fully grown Cress carries on. Kids normally grow Cress for a week and then eat it. What most kids don't know is they have to eat it or it'll grow up and eat them. Sorry, miss. Our crest got this big because we were so eager to do the homework. We planted it too soon. Well, that makes perfect sense. What? No, it doesn't! <coughs> As you can see, the preferred food of the fully grown crest is pies. <laughs> it must be my pie in the plant food. We've created a Venus pie trap. Miss Creature, as fully grown Cress experts, we can contain this situation, but we will need to leave school early. Fine, whatever you need. Emergency, Brenda. We need every pie you can muster. What now, Dennis? The Colonel said we should talk to our plants. So let's talk. Oi, plants, pies! <laughs> I hope you've got a plan, Dennis. We're running out of pies. What? I only had one or two. Don't worry, Curly. Genius always has a plan. They'll be happy here. Disposing of the pies past the sell by day. Dad's best shop assistant ever. Nice one, Dennis. Okay, mutant crest dealt with. All we have to do now is deal with that lawn. Gang, rustle up a mowing device and meet me at my place. <laughs> Where did you get a goat? From the goat convention. There's a goat convention? Yeah, at the convention centre. Today's the last day. Tomorrow's the comic convention. Ah, which we're not going to miss. Let's get mowing! <laughs> well, it's a good job we also have national power. <laughs> <laughs> My study. Why is it taking so long? Um, we're being thorough. <laughs> thorough? With a chore? Now, why does that strike me as suspicious? No, oh, nothing suspicious going on here, Walter. Just lawn mowing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I've got my eye on you, menaces. Oh. Mm. Mm. Phew. If Walter realises the grass is growing out of control, he'll tell Creature that we didn't do the crest homework properly. Oh, but at this rate, we'll be mowing the lawn all weekend. We'll never get to the comic convention. Hmm. Pie face, where there's a convention, there's a way. So the goat convention's finished then? Uh-huh. To make way for the comic convention, which we'll be at. But how do we get rid of all these goats? One problem at a time, Pie face. One problem at a time. <laughs> All right, class, you have 
five minutes to finish today's experiment. With my personal Junior Genius Lab kit, that should present no problem, Mrs. Creature. <laughs> uh, Mrs. Creature, my beak is broken. Look. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, then pair up with Walter, Dennis. What? Oh, surely you two can work together for five minutes. had to evacuate the entire school because of the mm, smell. Do you have anything to say for yourselves for ruining Mrs. Creature's experiment? Yes, Headmaster. It was all his fault. I told you not to touch the beaker when the liquid oozes. You have zero understanding of slime production. What's there to understand? Puerile pranks, tawdry tricks, all child's play. Child's play? Menacing takes skill and precision timing. You couldn't menace a dead fish. I could do that in my sleep. Whereas you wouldn't last one afternoon completing my to-do list. What? Measuring the straightness of my tie with a ruler? Yeah, really hard, Walter. I do more than that. I... Boys, boys, boys. It seems we have here a classic lack of mutual understanding. But I have the perfect solution. You will each spend this afternoon living each other's lives. <laughs> I've spoken to your parents and it's agreed. This afternoon you will live according to the habits and rules of the other's household. <laughs> Stop! Swap! Huh? I'll explain later, Nasha. It's complicated. Here is Walter's jam-packed schedule for this afternoon. Jingle Composer Club. Toothpick Modeler's Symposium with the Colonel. Competitive bird watching. Swimming pool mathletics. Pet grooming. <laughs> Where do you keep your garden shears? <laughs> Dennis's schedule? <laughs> For what? His after-school activities. Uh, he doesn't exactly have a schedule. He, he lives in the moment. <laughs> this will be a breeze, just as I thought. <laughs> I do hope Dennis is coping. Uh -huh. <laughs> I hope you've studied your chords. Stand straight, shoulders back. No slouching! <laughs> now, after me, I'll count us in. One, two, three, four. Um, usually Dennis just says something like, Rock! Rock? Don't mind if I do! <laughs> Bird watching? Huh. Yeah. Let's liven this up, Nasha. Snake! Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, this isn't the sort of thing we do with Dennis, Walter. Hmm. <laughs> but that is. <laughs> So, this is a toothpick modeler's symposium. Hmm. Oh. Play with B can't be that hard. I don't know how much more of this I can take. What's swimming pool mathletics anyway? Huh? Three times seven is twenty-one. Four, Four times, times seven, seven is twenty-eight. Five times seven, Dennis. Oh, I know this one. Cannonball! <laughs> so far, you're not doing very well at being Walter, Dennis. I knew you'd find my life too hard. Meanwhile, I'm blitzing yours. Treehouse tidied, a study regime for B. I've even introduced the din makers to the principles of classical harmony. That's not being a menace, Walter. That sounds like things you do. Epic fail. 
Boys, you have one more chance to live each other's life before the day is done, or... I'll pair you up in every class until the term ends. Seventeen times thirty-two is five hundred and forty-four. Eighteen times thirty-two is five hundred and seventy-six. Nineteen times thirty-two is... Ribbit. OK, time for plan D, G and W. We need to help each other if we're going to get through to Tester's experiment. Very well. Listen carefully. After swimming pool athletics, it's bath time. Make sure you use plenty of soap. Then it's afternoon tea. This is very important. You must use the scone fork. It's second from the right. Do not use the Battenberg fork. <laughs> OK, but, Walter, you've got to think like a menace. Remember, fun is always just around the corner. Come, Claudius. We have many things to attend to. And it's bath time for you and me. <laughs> Lots of soap, eh? Low setting, I think. <laughs> today with some menacing equipment. Ooh. 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 <sighs> right, Nasha, all I have to do is get through the scone test and life goes back to normal. Yes. <laughs> <sighs> um, uh, mm -hmm. He certainly looks and smells the part. Oh! Not the Battenberg fork! Uh, use the second one! The second one! Ha. Mm -hmm. sure. Just goes to show you can complete a successful experiment without any mischief. A plus for you, Dennis. Yes! But Walter still has to pass his test. Oh, uh, Walter excels at everything he does. <laughs> He'll be just fine, I assure you. I'm not so sure about that. Come on, Nasha. <laughs> on this device. <coughs> Too late, anyway. Postman's way out of range now. Strangely quiet today. Oh, no! I told you not to waste time arranging the pranks according to the Dewey Decimal System. But they needed sorting out. I failed. Maybe not. <gasps> no! I, well, I can possibly... But I could. Yes, yes. <laughs> Do it, Claudius. Walter. What are you oh, doing, Walter? Being Dennis, sir. Mm, yes, I, I suppose you are. Well, well done. Very good. <laughs> so, what have you uh, learned today, Walter? Well, that having no rules can be somewhat liberating. And you, Dennis? Ah, well, I learned that, um, uh, that everyone needs a bath sometimes. <laughs> Yes, I suppose they do. <laughs> Congratulations, boys. You have successfully completed today's experiment. Yay! <laughs> uh, would you care to join us for afternoon tea, Headmaster? Thank you, Walter. I never say no to a scone. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Who knew bath time could be so much fun? Follow me. Here 
Ready? Oh, oh. Yes, yes. Pie. Most have pie. <laughs> oh, what's up with him? I've seen him before. Whenever he gets a whiff of an especially tasty pie, it's like sleepwalking without the sleep. You mean he's pie walking? <laughs> yep, and I think I know where. Mashed potato, garnish, and pepped by moi. Monsieur Tarte Visage, pie maker extraordinaire. Oh, oh lovely. Fantastic. Yum. Mm -hmm. Ah, no touching without buying. No. <laughs> ah, my beautiful face. My beautiful pie. Dad? Oh, uh, hello, son. Uh, fancy seeing you here. <gasps> <gasps> Lads! Uh, hey, no, just you. Uh, you know, checking out the competition. Oh, not bad. Needs more pepper. Ah, don't make me laugh. You know nothing about pies. Oi, if my son reckons your pies need pepper, then your pies need pepper. I taught that boy everything I know about pies. Oh, really? And how long does that take, huh? Five minutes? I love you know I bake the best pies in Beano Town. Ask anyone you like. Ask your customers. Oh. Magnifique! It seems that even your friends prefer the taste of my pies. <laughs> we never said that. Although this is very tasty. <laughs> oh, that does it. We'll settle this once and for all. I challenge you to a pie making contest. Oh, bien sûr. And whoever loses has to close down their shop for good. <laughs> oh, wait, get, um, hang on a second. Unless you are un scared cat. <laughs> My dad's not scared of anything. He'll bake a pie you'll never forget. Six o'clock tonight, right here in the street. The town can decide. <laughs> oh. What have I said? What have I done? If I lose this bet, I'll have to close down and leave town. What? Leave town? But that'll break up the menaces. And what about Paul? All oh, his friends are here too. We can't let that happen. You'll just have to bake the most popular pie of your life. But don't worry, we're here to help. I've seen your idea of help before and it always gets out of hand. <sighs> what are you planning? We're going to find the best flavour in the world. Hey, Mr. Butcher, got a pie here with your name on it. <gasps> hey, Mr. Butcher, got a pie here with your name on it. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Très bien. These nincompoops are no threat to me. Hey, don't worry, we've brought enough for everyone. Hey, don't worry, we've brought enough for everyone! <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. How are we going to find the town's favourite flavour if no one trusts us enough to take one? I've got it! We'll go undercover. Huh? Undercover? Très sneaky, way, but Monsieur Tarte Visage is a sneakier. <laughs> <laughs> Be sure to tell us your favourite! Oh, apple, yeah. please! Oh, oh, thank you! Steak for rice, please! Oh, yes, yummy! Scrumptious! No, 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 no! This cannot be! They must not find the favourite flavour! Huh? Hey! Isn't that... Oh, oh, <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Uh, Sergeant, we must punish these troublemakers, no? Perhaps I can uh, make a petit suggestion? Ha-ha! Oh, no one will dare try our pies now. We'll never find Beano Town's favourite flavour. Oh, Tut Visage started it. He splashed me with mash. We can't let him win or the menaces will be split up forever. Imagine that. Mash! <laughs> it's too big to eat. Oh, I know. If only Pyfees were still here. <laughs> mm, pie. Oh, oh, hey, hey. Oh, hi, Dennis. Oh, this mixed up pie mix is the best. Huh? <gasps> Whoa. He's right. This is delicious. <laughs> We've still got a chance. Our fantastic flavour is right here on Pie Face's Pie Face. We just need to know what's in it. Pie Face, what hit you? Um, some pies. Only one thing for it. <laughs> Needs more cherry. <laughs> uh, now chocolate. <laughs> Just when I think you lot can't get any sillier. Back off, Walter. This is a highly scientific experiment. Try apple plus strawberry. <laughs> Nearly. There's just something missing. I can't quite put my finger on it. Oh, we're running out of time. Think, Pyface. Do you remember anything? I remember suddenly feeling very cold. Eh? Why would you feel cold on such a hot day? Of course. Angel Face is flying ice cream. Oi, Walter. I bet you can't hit me with that ice cream. Hmm. Bet you I can. Yeah. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> Thanks, Walter. Do. That's it. The missing ingredients. <laughs> Genius wears a striped jumper. So, three parts cherry, one part chocolate, yep. one part beef. <laughs> really? Don't doubt the pie master. And don't forget the ice cream. Oh, we're gonna need a bigger bowl. <laughs> Beth is too scared to even turn up. <laughs> <laughs> a great big recipe makes a great big pie. Nothing can stop us now. Hold it right there. After that fiasco in the park, no one wants you coming near them with a pie. So, Monsieur Tort Visage requested a police line. <laughs> uh -huh. Safety first, way. <laughs> but, but if people don't taste my pie, I don't stand a chance of winning. There we go. Set one foot across this line and I'll arrest the lot of you. Huh? <gasps> and it just remains for you to name me the winner. After all, this is the only pie in the contest, no? <laughs> ah! No! Many seeds! Dennis, I said... You said don't set one foot across the line, so we won't. Dennis! Stop using those catapults at once. <laughs> yes, Dennis, listen to your papa. And start using these much bigger catapults. Yeah. What? You didn't think we'd let our old friend get drummed out of town, did you? No one splits up our gang. <laughs> <laughs> Very good eating. Oh. Right, this is <laughs> delicious. Does everyone agree? Oh, yes. 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 Right yes. then, Dino Town, we have a winner. Yeah, that is it. You win. I would not stay another second in this crazy town if you paid me. Does this mean our pie shop safe? Too right, it does, son. <laughs> And more importantly, so are the menaces. They're a winning team. Now who's for second? Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah.